So we are good to go. Okay, well, today we're going to talk about I'm sure everybody gets a paycheck, but do you know who processes your paycheck? Most companies, if it's small or medium sized company, it's not the actual company you work for, it's a PEO. Which a PEO is a professional employer organization. They join a contract with small and mid-sized companies and process their payroll, their human resources, their benefits, all of pretty much their back office information to keep them from doing the mindless, tedious tasks. And that way the managers can go out and actually do the production job. Oh. Even big companies. Nice. Yeah. Well, the one I work for, we don't either do large companies because mm -hmm. it's not really beneficial to them. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more beneficial for the larger companies to process in-house mm -hmm. because they're so they're paying so much. Mm -hmm. They pay between three and five dollars per check. Well, when they have fifty employees, it's not a big deal. But when they have five and six hundred employees that get paid every week, it's costing them a lot more to pay mm -hmm. somebody to do it than it would to hire a payroll manager and have all yeah. staff there. <sighs> <Sorry. Okay. laughs> Um, normally, the processes we do, it's a lot more beneficial for the small companies because I personally process payroll for 56 different companies a week. Well, there's six people in my payroll department. So if we each have touched all these different companies, if you call with a question, somebody's going to have a good answer for it. It's not like having somebody that's inexperienced and maybe fresh out of college working for you. Yeah, they have the knowledge, but they've never done it before. So it's really beneficial that way. They're more in compliance with laws and regulations. We process all new hire paperwork, all terminations, advise them on terminating people before having a lawsuit or paying everybody unemployment because they fire everybody for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> but the PEO industry is very, very beneficial for small companies. And the folders have like simple information. The notepad and the cards from my company. Normally those, well, that's what we give to like new companies. When they come on, they get like the pins and the notebooks and the business cards and not necessarily the flyer. I took out the new hire packet and the contract. <laughs> 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 but does anybody have any questions? I just want to say that I think this is a, just a fantastic idea. I didn't know much about it. Helpful. I didn't know much about it. I've processed payroll for nine years, small companies, large companies. I worked for five years. I was a payroll account manager for Sonic Drive-In downtown. Mm -hmm. And so I worked for that one specific company. And then I went here, I've been here for two years. And it's a lot It's a lot of knowledge as well as beneficial to the companies. Good, good. What, what, what is the ideal size uh, for your clients, your, your client businesses? We try not to take on a client that has more than 150 to 200 people. Okay, because then the cost effectiveness. It costs them too much, but it also costs us a lot. Mm -hmm. Because then they're wanting more because they're a larger company wanting us to provide more reports mm -hmm. and do more documentation. So it's more costly for both parties. Okay. I'll tell you what, though, I've seen just in talking with the company I work for, and I work for a very big company, 40,000 employees mm -hmm. around the world. And uh, uh, they're going, we're contracting now all our websites. We don't do our, we used to have an in-house web department. We don't do, they don't, we, they're gone. Everything's going to outsource. Everything's outsourcing, they're outsourcing everything. Mm -hmm. And they haven't done payroll yet. I don't know that they will, well, but they haven't yet. a company of that magnitude will probably go to ADP or Paycom. They're nationally known and they take a lot of large companies. But I get it, my check doesn't, it's got a weird name on it. Though. When I get my check, it's got a different name on the che bottom of the check. That may be because they're incorporated with their original name, their license name isn't what you work under. Because our name isn't on any of our checks. Mm -hmm. It's the, the, the actual so company. If you worked for Sonic, it would say Sonic, even though I processed it. Mm -hmm. It would just have our CEO signature. Mm -hmm. That's what yeah. ours is. I think it's a holding company it's for a company, for company mm -hmm. I work for. It's probably a holding company. Probably have, they do. It's weird how they do their accounting. So. <laughs> well, you know, it is. It's just, you know, big companies like that have ways of Maneuvering around. Maneuvering. But, you know, especially when you're worldwide. They, they it's called creative accounting. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> creative accounting. Well, as long as they keep making money and don't go to jail. <laughs>